These are our top 10 must-have newborn baby products. So a lot of people have been asking us what type of products we've been using, what things that we found helpful, like the things that we really love. And in this video, we wanted to share all of those products with you. So these are our top 10 must-have, life-saving, like just products that we use every day that we can definitely recommend to all of you. But before we start, don't forget to check out our Instagram to support our channel. Please check out this March. And don't worry, we're gonna have all the links in the below so you guys can check it out later. Perfect. <laughs> all right. I did my Let's... best. <laughs> okay, you wanna say hi to everyone real quick? Smile. Yay. He's a little older, but all of this stuff that we're mentioning in this video was so useful when he was mm. a newborn. Made you a little happy boy, right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you, you wanna show them your cool outfit real quick? It's a Goku outfit. It's a must have outfit. Do you like your outfit? Yeah. Yeah. You? Let's get started. <laughs> so the first product that I definitely recommend is the Connie Baby Carrier. So we originally started with the Baby Bjorn, mm. but we got a lot of comments that said it wasn't too good for the baby's mm. posture or their hips. People um, use it though. People use it, mm. but we got a lot of comments from yeah, that. We got scared. <laughs> um, and then we also got the Ergo Baby, mm. which we use now, but um, he didn't really like it to begin, mm. especially as a newborn. I think it was just like too big yeah, for him. Yeah, he hated it. So beginning. he really hated it. But the Connie, I felt it just it was like more natural. He was like pressed up mm. against our body and just felt mm -hmm. really, really attached. But he was one of those babies that just couldn't sleep on his own. Mm. So we would have to rock him to sleep maybe 10, 20, sometimes 30 minutes. <laughs> We'd be just like rocking him. And that thing just like saved our arms and... and yeah made life just yeah. so much easier. I like how you can wash it. Yeah. So like, especially in summer, you yeah. sweat, baby sweat. So you feel it's cleaner. And then also you can almost wear it with your outfit. I mm. think that it looks like if you get the right colors, it yeah. almost oh, looks like it. part of your mm. outfit. I like the design too. It's like it's not too bulky. One thing, yeah. like it's really hard to choose the sizes. Like depends on the color, it, it, the fabric is really different. We bought medium and large, but I think I was actually small. So I was using between a medium and a large. Mm. So for example, this one here is a medium beige colored one and it's medium and it's quite big, it's stretched out. Yeah. And then I use this gray one, which is a large. It's like basically mm. the same size. Right. Nah, and then the mesh one that we got oh my god <laughs> it's just way too small i think it was it was a small originally it, i think i got extra small the size guidance yeah says that mm -hmm. get one size smaller get the size that you usually wear for t-shirts yeah and i usually wear like small or like extra small mm -hmm. but i just didn't think about my after birth body <laughs> yeah but at the end of the day it is super useful mm. if you're trying to go places because you can just literally just like shove it in your pocket nah. it's that small it's, it's light too. yeah it's like so you can just you know, carry it around with you mm. and yeah just just super super useful and this second one is probably one of my favorites out of all of them mm. it's tech it is the baby monitor and we decided to go with the nanit what i found with the nanit is that the resolution is pretty good mm. but overall the, the time lag between what you see on the monitor and what's actually happening is fairly low mm -hmm. um, we've used other like security cameras and, and there's quite a lag but this one is pretty good but you do need to be careful that it is pretty intensive on bandwidth and if you don't have the proper network set up inside of your home mm. then you might have issues personally i had to get a wi-fi extender and put it into our room so that it connected a lot better to the main wi-fi in the living room I didn't even know that <laughs> yeah also some of the other advantages of the nanit is that it has like insights on the baby's sleep mm. um, it, it does work as a night camera and it also does have some recording features it is limited if you don't purchase a subscription but it's free for a year if you don't get the subscription and you can i think go all the way back to I believe one week or seven mm. days yeah. so you do get um, some cool like feedback mm. on how he's sleeping you know what i love of nanit yeah you can check it when you're going outside. Like you can just check anytime, like how Wolfie's doing. Yeah, that's true. It's so like, I feel so safe. And then also it works with multiple devices. Mm -hmm. So I can have it monitoring at home. She can check it on her device yeah. and then multiple devices can connect at the same time. Some improvements though, I wish it were, it's only 960. I believe I wish it was 1080p, like a higher quality. Oh, um, but it is yeah. pretty good it's compared pretty good, to other. Well, Michael doesn't really. 
see the different qualities, but I wish it was- I do, I do. I wish it was a little bit like 1080p or even 4K, but I think that's just too much for the system. But like, I think one of the things that we use all the time, we use a white noise to play when he's sleeping and it's just kind of mm. like a wind rustling or you can mm. change, choose different sounds. Yeah, I think they have like the waves mm. and just yeah. simple white noise. Yeah. Overall, it's probably one of the most useful mm. things that have just kind of saved our life and just makes me feel comfortable when he's sleeping in the other room and we're, we're here yeah. and we can like watch him in fact we're watching him right now in front of us you know how it records the time of yeah. like when he gets out of the bed and like slept on the bed yeah uh, we use this app to record his like day you forget what time he sleeps or like yeah. what time he wakes up but like he says it here so like it's really easy to manage oh. our schedule there's some built-in ai with the oh, device cool, cool, cool. so that it can tell you when mm -hmm. he goes to sleep when he wakes up when someone visited his crib mm -hmm. so you can see all of that it like knows mm -hmm. and then it will add up all the hours and it'll like track all of that for you which is yeah. pretty cool so this next one is the sterilizer made by baby brezza this one is super useful especially if you're going through bottles mm -hmm. pacifiers um, anything that you want to sterilize it's a pretty big container mm -hmm. so that you can fit a lot of stuff i think up to six to seven bottles if necessary and then it has like an upper tray where you mm -hmm. can put in the pacifiers and the Little nipples pieces, and everything yeah. it's just super convenient yeah. i love how it dries it out <laughs> Yes, that's right. true. That's yeah. so big because we have that little tiny thing that you use in the microwave. Yeah, that little like pink container fits like s s maybe yeah. three plastic bottles. You put it in the microwave, you put a little water in it, and then it sterilizes it, but then it comes out and mm. it's still like moist and stuff. And you don't feel good about leaving it there. Nah, like that. So, so, so. But that's what everybody uses. Especially, well, that's what they use in Japan. Oh, yeah. And so this product is nice because it just dries everything mm -hmm. within like 45 minutes to 60 minutes. Yeah. We do also... I actually like that thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess we're a bit torn on this baby Brezza. This is just kind of on the side. We did also, you've probably seen in a lot of our videos before, mm. that we do have a baby Brezza formula, automatic mixer. Basically, you put the formula on the top, you put water in the back, it mixes it all up in just one go. Yeah, it's like a coffee maker of formula. Yes, some issues though. So basically the company has a list of formulas that they've tested, mm. um, but since we live in Japan, there's like no list of any of the formulas yeah. I here thought there was one, but they misspelled it. <laughs> yeah, they misspelled it, so. I'm like, are you sure it's this one? I don't even know. Yeah, but like if that was covered, I think that's one of the best product that we had. I've like contacted support and they're pretty oh. bad. Like, so if you ever have any issues with your baby Brezza and then you try to contact support, one, they're really, really slow. And mm. then two, <laughs> they don't get back to you. And I remember you really stressed out. Mm. I want to get the correct measurements for so the baby, so. Like, Wolfie was mm. having a constipation. Not constipation, but like he does, he didn't poo so often. Yeah. So like we were trying to like find out if it was formula or like if yeah. it's just him or like my breast, but what I eat. Yeah. We couldn't solve it because of the Brezza. Yeah. Right? And then that's why we went on full on breastfeeding. Yeah. We went full breastfeeding. Yeah. Okay, it was good after all, but. So anyways, I wouldn't personally recommend that. I think you, I do. you might. And I was in the hospital make formula. Yeah. It took forever and it was really stressful. So if I live in other country, yeah. I truly, truly recommend it because it saved so much time. So this one uh, goes back to maybe putting him to sleep and a lot of people might not think of it, but what saved our life is the exercise ball. And like we've got so tired just putting him to sleep, yeah. especially initially, and we use that exercise ball all the time where you just kind of yeah. like sit on it and you just bounce and bounce yeah, and bounce. It worked. Great, Wolfie. Perfect for a newborn. And, mm. you know. Well, it depends on the baby, I'm sure, but... But for us, it's safe. So yeah. if you are there and you're rocking a lot mm. and mm. You, mm. You're, if your baby just sleeps and you don't really yeah, need, you it, need it, but, <laughs> you know, your knees and your back sometimes... Yeah, so, so my knees started to hurt and, like, my calf, yeah. <laughs> my calf started to be, like, really muscular. There you go, the bouncy ball. Save your calf. So before we continue, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for this video. Boksu. Boksu. So if you guys don't already know, Boksu provides these gourmet snacks delivered wow. to your front door. It comes with this like thrifty, like pretty dope book and it explains all of the different snacks. What's also nice about Boksu is that it's a perfect holiday gift. Mm. 
Mm. Right? You can send it to people that you can't visit during this time. Yeah, that's true. I'll be happy if somebody gets this for me for a holiday. So there's the box right there. So, so this one is from Golden Kanagawa. I used to eat this thing when I was little. It, this is so good. This looks good too. They usually have like one type of tea, huh? I think I'm gonna try this. Okay. All milfied out. I ain't even got a big mouth. Mmm. I think it's just like a pound cakey cookie ish cake. Pound cookie ish cookie ish cake. <sighs> Good. So if you want to get your own boxu delivered to your door, you can save up to 10%, up to $47. Use the code Tokyo Zebra 10, link in the description. All right, so this next one I really like. Maiko is still mm -hmm. kind of a little bit I don't on, it. Trust on it. <laughs> it is a little monitor that sits underneath the mattress mm -hmm. or the the crib, and it will let you know if your baby stops breathing. Basically, it's like a little pad that has some sensors on it, and then if he stops breathing, it'll beep within 10 seconds of the baby stopping. It's supposed to beep in 10 seconds? Within 10 seconds of like no motion. So I think what Michael is kind of upset about is that sometimes. I'm it, not upset. But what Michael doesn't really like about it is sometimes it doesn't go off. Yeah, a lot of times it's like I pick Wolfie up and like go into a different room and I like play with him and come back and like he's still on. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, it's either the air conditioning or the mm. fan we have in the room that maybe is creating vibration or we have the washing machine turned on yeah. or it could be the noise machine that's con mm. that's connected to the Nanit monitor which is connected to the baby crib. So it's all like making mm -hmm. vibrations. And yeah. so the thing has to be pretty sensitive in order to to, uh, to find out whether or not the, yeah. the baby has stopped moving. Mm -hmm. I mean, the hospital uses it. Yeah, the hospital that we were the in The same uses it. brand. Also, to like sometimes you forget to turn it uh, off after so you take him out, man. especially in the middle of the night. So loud. It's, it's pretty loud. Um, I think it's a must have. It's just like a peace of mind. It just helped me sleep at night just to know that thing was on and there's an extra thing watching him. Yeah. The next one is the Baby Crib Mobile. This one was a little bit different than other ones that we've seen in that it was battery powered. It just like kept on rotating and he really, really liked it as a newborn. It saved us 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes <laughs> of him. Like, but that's big. That was like huge. That was huge. Like for it's, us. He was one of those babies that just loved to be mm. held and still loves to be held. Yeah. So when we would walk away or put him down, he would start to cry. Mm. Just being able to like distract him for 10, 15 minutes in the morning or whenever was really, really helpful. You can go to the restroom. Yeah. <laughs> as he grew older, I mean, he's still young, but like as he grew older, he kind of don't like it anymore. <laughs> yeah. But as a newborn, I would recommend getting a mobile. And I don't think it necessarily needs to be this one, but anything mm. that's battery power that will like just continue to rotate. Okay. Now we've actually taken out the mobile part and he plays with the speaker itself and just like mm. taps the button. I'm glad that we are still using it. Mm. Next is the baby bath. And you've seen this in probably our first video when I took him home. It was a pink little inflatable bath, yeah. but we use it every day and still we use it. <laughs> so um, pretty helpful for us because we wash him in the sink and... It's useful, mm. but it's still like a basic product. I'm surprised that you chose this one as one of the lists. I think it's a must have, no? It is a must have, like, a, a, <laughs> you know, it's like you have to have underwears for baby kind of. But I think there's so many different baby baths uh, and I wanted to recommend this one in particular because it does have that little center thing that helps them from sliding because other baths basically they're just kind of like a, a net and they don't actually soak oh really so like the baby is on like he's like floating on the air and just like water like splash and like yeah some of them are or they... that's what I'm saying I think this one is designed for Japanese mm. because they like to put the babies in the bath yeah, and yeah, let yeah, them yeah. soak in the bath got it <laughs> got it so this one is the Aprica baby seat. It's one of those three-in-one systems that we got here in Japan. Um, I don't know if you can get it overseas or outside of Japan, but this one was just super useful for us. Mm -hmm. One, um, it acts as a baby seat if you're gonna take the baby in the car. Then it also acts as a seat for if you're gonna put him into the stroller. It just has some adapters where you just like stick it on and you can take your baby on the go. And then you can use it as a rocking chair or a place for a baby to sleep in the house. It just was super useful for us. We use it all the time, especially mm. in the house. Not so much in the car because we don't drive so much. So um, I think we just use it like one or two times mm. in the car. We use it on the stroller quite a bit. So done. I think in the beginning we didn't buy a bed to yeah. use it in the living room. Yep. So we kind of like use 
that thing for that. And so, he seems pretty well on it too. Yeah, like overall though, the Africa stroller system, I personally love the way it's like three wheels and it's just easy to mm, maneuver yeah. around, easy to break down. Steady. Um, and even like pushing up hills, even though it's, it seems like a little bit heavier, it's just really smooth. Yeah, yeah. Right? I wouldn't say it's the lightest one. It's mm, pretty it's kind of beefy and, and yeah. girthy, but it's still light when mm. you push it. It feels like you're pushing nothing. Anything you didn't like about any of this stuff? One thing I don't like about that, this trolley, just one thing, is that bottom storage area. Yeah. There's like a little bar, like right in front of the in entrance yeah. of the storage. So like if you want to put the bag in it, you have to kind of like shoot get the shoot the and like I oh. basically didn't have the bar. So if you are in Japan and you're looking for a in a stroller, then I highly recommend mm. this one. And as a newborn, you definitely need to get this baby seat. Yeah. So this one is probably common for a lot mm. of people. It's a diaper genie. It just helps you to throw away use diapers kind of just seals up all that mm -hmm. smell there are different solutions like little plastic bags or mm. different products but for us this one worked really really well and it's just so so easy to drop the diaper in mm. there it shuts and she's gonna forget about it mm. it sometimes smells though yeah, if, I, if the lid is not completely shut yeah so if it starts to get full <laughs> and you don't get the bag all the way down or you don't get the diaper all the way down it's kind of just Little bit open. <laughs> yeah. You need to make sure that the diaper goes all the way yeah. in and then it kind of shuts out the smell. As long as you're using it correctly. The thing is it does fill up fast. So that yeah. I want to try to save as much money as possible so I just squeeze nice. the diapers in there like it just almost looks like a huge <laughs> diaper sausage. <laughs> Yeah. And like pushing it down. Just One of the complaints is that the diaper cartridges are kind of expensive. Yeah. But I mean, overall, in terms of functionality and use, mm. we recommend it. And then something that we learned a little bit too late, but Maiko loves now, is the breastfeeding pillow. So I suffered for such a long time until I found um, this pillow. I started to use this pillow that I bought. I just randomly chose from Amazon. Like, as you can see, it's super flat now. It mm. used to be a little bit more, a little bit more fluffier, like maybe this much. Yeah. But I don't know. It yeah. got flattened so yeah. quickly. If you don't know, basically it wraps around your stomach like this, Luffy like this, goes and here. then you put the baby here to breastfeed. I think what ended up being so flat that you had to. Bend yeah, down. I had to go like really really like deep to reach out to Wolfie yeah. and then I started to put I lo rolled a blanket on here and put Wolfie <laughs> and then I finally found this pillow that was pretty thick that um, Ergo Baby sells it's a lot thicker mm -hmm. okay. Ergo Baby's pillow doesn't like sinking so much mm -hmm. it's more like a it's really firm yeah that was a game changer, game changer. and my neck hurts less my back hurts less yeah. it's still hurting but hurts less i really recommend that one all right uh so that is our list if you liked it help us out and hit that like button all the links for the products that we mentioned in this video it'll all be in the description so definitely check that out and i guess if you want to see more of what's happening with wolfie and our family behind the scenes hit that subscribe button and the bell button and i'll catch you guys we'll catch you guys in the, the next, next one, one. <laughs>